Hey guys, Bad But Sweaty here, filling in for Chris as he is sick for the 37th time this month. And in today's video, I will be covering the Arma Reforger update 0.9.6, or the update that arrived on October 20th for Steam and Xbox. This update was the first major update in quite some time, and it features some pretty major changes to Game Master, upgrades to AI, and changes to how conflict works as a game mode. So, with no more delay, let's get into it. Starting off, we have the changes to Game Master. Beginning from the top, Game Master will now have the ability to interact with objects found throughout the world. This includes playing some notes on a piano, flushing a toilet, or opening doors. Game Masters will also find a new feature in their UI. This quick placement bar allows them to quickly place new entities. This bar, as well as the tabs in the Entity Browser, are now customizable, as shown here allowing you to set it up so you can use the assets you need for a particular scenario quickly. Next up, game masters who play with more than one fellow game master on a server can now communicate without the other player's knowledge. By using the U key, they will be able to set a ping only visible to game masters. Game master voting has also changed with you now being able to cancel your nomination from the player list, as well as the voting being highlighted in the player list. Players in Game Master will also find that zone restriction is not as violent as it used to be, with more warnings and a more forgiving style to redirect you back to where you're supposed to go. And customization of these Game Master matches has also been enhanced as new road compositions have been added in different sizes and for both factions. Finally, in Armavision, there are now different selectable lens flare attributes that one can enable or disable. Moving on from Game Master to Gameplay, starting off with the changes to the map. The map now has both a protractor and a line drawing tool that allows for one to use the map for better orientation and marking. Next up, we have the addition of several user interactions to inspection, allowing the player to add or remove attachments or switch mags. But these are tiny changes compared to the massive changes that have arrived to conflict. Conflict has been greatly changed with a new victory condition based on points, new supply systems, and new logistical importance. They also updated the tutorial to better convey these changes. So getting into the conflict rework, first up, supplies now have far more usage as several activities will now require them, including respawning on conflict bases, requesting vehicles, and spawning defenders from barracks. There will also be more ways to acquire supplies, as the new FIA supply drops can be raided to obtain supplies to distribute back to your base. However, be careful, as the FIA will attempt to retake their lost supply drops. In addition to this, there are more buildings to build at your base, including the heavy vehicle depot and antenna installation which will extend the radio signal of the base. Also changed in conflict is holding the objective, with the new winning condition being based around having a certain amount of points and holding them for a given amount of time. To supplement this, radio capture has been removed. Bases will now be captured by having a majority in an area. While that area is being captured, the base icon will flash and any defenders will alert their team about the attack. This is easily the largest change in the update and should greatly change how conflict plays as a game mode. But we still aren't done. Players will now be able to adjust their stance more precisely than just the simple button hits. This can be done on PC using the scroll wheel. Players will now be able to roll well prone, using either Q for left or E for right, 
And finally, players will see that the ragdoll physics should be better than they were before the update. Overall, this is quite a large update, and one I rather like. I think the changes show signs of progress and that we are finally one step closer to the ground support milestone. But until then, this has been Bad But Sweaty, and I'll see you all next time. Thank you.